time now for our special focus report here on France 24. Now, today it's about a man who's had a very busy festive period, I'm sure, and one who has plenty he wants to keep working on into the future. We're talking about the Pope. Pope Francis has won himself a lot of fans inside and outside the Roman Catholic Church by tackling issues of paedophilia, sexual abuse and financial abuses head on. Our correspondents in Rome, Josephine McKenna and Natalia Mendoza, have been to see if a revolution really is underway at the Vatican. You might think you're in Buenos Aires, but this is St. Peter's Square. Today is the Pope's birthday, and for the first time, a tango is being held outdoors in front of the Vatican. The faithful are paying homage to the first Pope ever elected from Argentina. He's great. He's the greatest. He's the number one. I feel really emotional seeing him. Gianni Vitucci has come all the way from Milan to dance beneath the Apostolic Palace. He's here to encourage the Pope with the reforms he's begun at the Vatican. I think he's about to make some necessary changes. The church needs it. It has to get closer to the people. Since his arrival, Francis has ordered a complete review of the Vatican's operations, and all departments are preparing for big changes in how the church runs its finance, administration, and religious education. Father Federico Lombardi is the Vatican's chief spokesman. He attends all the meetings of the small group of cardinals, which is advising the Pope on reform. The objective, to reflect the new spirit of the South American Pope. A spirit of poverty for a poor church, which is supportive of the poor. It is an attitude of going forward, understanding that the world is changing and that the gospel is asking us to respond to new situations that we have not had before. It's all about making the church focus on service and not power. That's the Pope's goal. And this is a Pope who openly condemns the materialistic attitudes and careerism of some clerics. We're all sinners. Even for us, there may be the temptation to take over God's vineyard because of greed. God's dream always clashes with the hypocrisy of some of his servants. Strong criticism, yet the Pope's own Spartan way of life has won the hearts of the faithful. Lena and her daughter live in Rome. They regularly come to the Pope's audiences in St. Peter's Square. We need people like the Pope. Priests, bishops, the whole church should follow his example. That means living a simple life. But in this shop, which is popular with clerics from around the world, the Pope's approach is bad for business. Look, this one here, for example, is very cheap. The material's not very special, and so the price is only 35 euros. This one, on the other hand, is made by hand. It's around 500 euros. We don't sell them often because everyone's always looking for the cheapest one. These Polish clerics are shopping for their diocese, but there's no question of buying anything too ostentatious. Good morning. We're looking for a beautiful crozier, but made entirely from wood. We do not want to disturb Pope Francis. Raniero Mancinelli has been making religious clothing for more than 30 years. Since the new Pope arrived, he's seen a big change in the attitude of his clients. You can see a change. It's a bit of an economic issue, but also the fact that Pope Francis wants a little more sobriety. Sobriety and proximity to the faithful. Today, Francis has come to visit this parish on the outskirts of Rome. A large crowd gathers for a special occasion when the Pope has direct contact with his parishioners. The other popes, Francis' predecessors, were more severe. They never approached the people like Pope Francis does now. He is very close to the people. A superstar pope. Here the faithful wait for hours to see him up close and for the lucky ones to take a selfie with the pontiff. 
He's charismatic, a true leader, the leader of the church. He knows what to do, he knows how to communicate, to mobilize people. Look at how many people there are each time he goes out. But his popularity is uncertain with some of his opponents in the church. Certain priests see it as sacrilegious, a pope who descends from his pedestal. For some, in particular the traditionalists, it's unacceptable. Despite the criticism, Pope Francis is determined to proceed with his reforms and modernize the Catholic Church. More will be revealed in 2015, and the Vatican could even see a new constitution in the future.